What is emotional intelligence? Not what most of the people on the planet are actually exercising today. Many people are exercising what I call emotional dissociation, which means bottling it up, ignoring it, coping, um, using substances to uh, ignore, um, to, to devalue what we're feeling. Uh, not even acknowledge or even know how to connect with what we're feeling. If you look at men, um, they're really allowed to have three emotions, uh, happy, angry, and horny. Pretty much all they're allowed. And women, we're allowed to have the cornucopia, but of course it's just assumed we're all crazy because we have a bunch of emotions. So it's just apparently what varying degree of crazy we are. Uh, the emotional world that we exist in today in general is quite dysfunctional. Emotional intelligence means understanding that when you're having emotions, your body is actually communicating with you. Your mind, your soul, you are communicating with yourself. That's what the emotion is. It is emotions and things that were trapped in a past event that have been pushed by a person or an event. And when we feel these emotions, what we, what we should think about doing is actually celebrating ourselves and thang, saying thank you for the self-communication, holding space for the emotion, running into the emotion, observing the emotion, loving and pampering and taking care of ourselves and allowing ourselves to flow the emotion. And then when we get back to logic, because when we are high emotion, we are low intelligence. So trying to source whatever it is that's going on and being in logic when we are dealing with that doesn't generally tend to go very well. So allow yourself to get back to logic. And when you do, you can listen to yourself and ask yourself where it came from. And funnily enough, when you actually start to listen to yourself and you start the communication, you will actually think of something, something, some past trauma, something that happened to you will come to mind. And the next step is go see your healer or your life coach or whoever it is that you work with and release it so that it doesn't have to come back ever again. You are a beautiful, powerful divine being and I want you to know that your subconscious mind is actually working for you, trying to help you heal. So if you understand how it works and you work with it, you will get resolution and not have to play the broken record over and over and over again. Okay, guys, love you. Have a good day. Mwah.